Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, and we have Anil visiting us all the way from San Antonio, Texas today. Now, Anil has a herniated disc down at the L4, L5 region that is causing lumbosacral radiculopathy down his legs on both sides. It's worse on the right now, but it was worse on the left earlier, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and this has been bothering you for how long? Oh, uh, yes, maybe two, three years. Two, three years, and what treatment have you done before this? Before is the same chiropractor. You've seen then, chiropractors yeah. for this? Have they helped you? Yeah, a little bit helped, but it is still... Still uh, having problems? Same problem. Okay, and that's really kind of the subject of this video, of what makes us different than other chiropractors. It's, it's the technique that I have developed over 36 years of practice in taking postgraduate education programs on top of my Palmer College of Chiropractic Education and you develop your own protocols and what works and what doesn't work so even though it may seem like some of the treatments that we do here are a little bit more aggressive or brutal in some of y'all's words uh, they're very effective for helping people with herniated discs, scoliosis, bulge discs, pinched nerves, headaches, things of that nature, when other chiropractic techniques do not. So I'm going to show you how we're going to adjust him today for this specific problem, and then I'm going to let Anil tell you afterwards if it was different than what he's ever received before. Okay, so let's take a look in the mirror. I'm going to have you close your eyes again, Anil, and bend your head forward and backwards. Now, we've already done the orthopedic neurological examination on him, as well as review his MRI. Okay, now see how his head's way forward and going down? Yeah, if just to get a side view of that. This is the most common problem in the world right here is forward head posture. When your head's forward, it's like a bowling ball, heavy bowling ball on top of these 24 freely movable vertebrae and it causes the muscles and the disc to work out three to five times harder just to hold you up in gravity. So his number one biggest problem is his head being forward, which is creating additional workload stress on the muscles and the disc down in the lumbar spine region. So, okay, you can open your eyes now. I already showed you your posture. So first thing we're gonna do, and this is his first time getting the manual spinal decompression, which y'all like to call the ring dinger. I named it the ring dinger because I get everything. RD, let's go ahead and lay on your back with your pelvis right there and your head up this way. Oh, it's dirty. <clears throat> Have you also taken medication and had shots for this yet? No. no. Okay, let's slide up that way a little bit. No, straight up. So to where your hips, right underneath that pin. There you go. Okay. Now this is going to feel really tight in you. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay, take some deep breaths, or shallow breaths, I mean. And just relax. I'm going to raise your legs up. Let your legs bend. Just let your knees bend. Let your knees bend. There, relax. I'm not going to do anything yet. I will be in a couple minutes. See, when you relax like that, see how that changes the angle of your pelvis? That should feel fairly relaxed in your low back besides where these pins are. If the pins were out there, that'd feel better, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to put this towel under your skull. Go ahead and lay your head back. Let's come over here, Joseph, if you don't mind, and get the straight-on shot on the decompression. Because I want to show people... And, and do not do this at home. Uh, I was showing Joseph how to do this on me yesterday. I am not training people to be chiropractors at home or watching these videos. This is for educational purposes only, and you should not be doing this anywhere but from a professional chiropractor with experience. So take a deep breath through your nose, and Neil. Let it all out. Keep your teeth together, and just relax this for me now. There we go. Now, you should have felt that all the way down. Yeah. Deep breaths. There. Yeah. See, he's still kicking. You're fine. That's going to be sore where the pins were. Yeah. Okay. Let your head relax right in my hand now. I got you. There you go. Same here. Okay, good. Yep. That's what everybody says. Old man's a pretty nice one, actually. 
hear a lot worse. This is the only place in town you can get beat up, feel better, and pay for it. It's still legal. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's come over here on your tummy next. Let me help you up sideways, Neil. Yeah. Bring your legs over like this. There we go. Oh. That's the way you always want to get up sideways. Now I'm going to have you go back here and lie on your stomach again. With your face right down in there. You felt that move all the way down, didn't you? In your lower back? Yeah. Now see, his right leg is over half an inch shorter than his left leg in the prone position. But when I bring him up, look, it gets longer, and I bet you that tightens up in your little back, doesn't it, Neil? Mm -hmm. That tighten up right down here? Yep. yep. So we're going to adjust his SI joints first. I'm going to get the right one first. The right leg is the one that's coming up short. It's internally rotated and elevated, so I'm adjusting it superior to inferior and also internal to external. There. Then we're going to hit the sacrum right in the center of the pelvis. Sacrum on the left side of the sacrum. And then I'm going to get this left SI joint right here and his hip. But we still got some right here, I can tell. Now I'm going to move up to L5 right there. L4 right there, L3, L2, all the way up to L1. Now just keep breathing, Anil, and exhaling, and just relax. Don't buck on me. Exhale. Better that you don't take deep breaths, just normal ones. There you go. Okay. Let all your air out and relax. That's it. I still got one right here. I can feel it. Okay, you're not. You're holding your breath on me. Hold that. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Okay. So he is still a quarter of an inch short on the right side, and it gets even this time. So it didn't get longer. So that tells me we're making some headway on his SI joint, but it's still out. We're going to adjust his left SI joint and hip joint a little more aggressively. There. That's it. Now I bet it's even. Yep. And it stays even. Does that feel a little easier this time, Anil? Yep. Okay. So, since you've got so much scar tissue and adhesions down there, I'm going to use the deep muscle tenderizer on you. This is my human meat tenderizer called the Turbonator. Take some deep breaths. positive results. The reason the patients are so tender when I first do that is because they have been out of place for years in most cases. They've built up a lot of fibrotic adhesions and scar tissue and toxins in their muscles so they're very sore and stiff. This is a high speed vibration, the rapid release Pro 2 technology that creates a high frequency that works way down deep into the soft tissues. It's a lot better, huh? 
than that turbinator. Softer for you. But it really applies a different type of kinetic energy deep down in the cells. And then after we get done, we're going to have Joseph do some manual therapy on him where he does some stretches and deep, deep tissue work down in his pelvis. Okay, just keep breathing in, Neil. Okay, slide down this way just a little bit. I'm going to adjust your cervical spine now and put the curve back in your neck. Just if they wanted to see the buttons on this side of the table, see what this is like over here. These are the different levels of air compression here. Now you see I have the cervical drop piece now, so when I push on this strip, the air compressor will pop up the cervical spine, and then I can adjust posterior to anterior into the cervical spine, restoring the normal cervical lordosis. This is very similar to Gonstead work. It's just biophysics, drop piece work, Thompson work does the same thing. There's a lot of different techniques out there. I have developed my own technique over the 36 years I've been practicing. So I guess I would just call it the Johnson biophysics technique. It's a combination of chiropractic biophysics, uh, Palmer package work. Now see, I'm going to change these buttons now. Take off the cervical, put on the thoracic, lumbar, and pelvic drop pieces, and watch what happens now. Lift up this whole area. There. We're going to get another one right on that right -hand side. Good. And Joseph can tell you from trying this on me, you have to put a lot more force in there than what you think it is. See, we still got a little bit going back out on that left SI joint. There. So, Joseph, was I applying a lot of pressure there? <clears throat> Definitely. It's hard. It okay. Looks, looks Legs easy. are even now. This should feel a little easier this time, Anil. Does it? Okay. Let's turn you on your back now, please, sir. Yes, sir. He made a trip all the way over here from San Antonio to get this done, so we're going to make sure and give him everything. So now I turned off the lower pieces, and I popped up the cervical piece again. Okay. Now I'm going to bring his whole head and neck up and back over the headpiece so that we can get his head back into his posture because if you remember his head was way forward and forward head posture is his number one problem. Let's we'll slide you down now a little bit of Neil right there and put your arms straight out to the side like this for me please sir. All right. I have to reset the tension on these for each patient. There we go. Now I'm adjusting his AC joints now, his costoclavicular joint where the clavicle meets the sternum, and now the external clavicular, not sternal clavicular, but uh, costoclavicular joint where the ribs meet the sternum in the front that'll help square off his shoulders you can relax your hands right there on your tummy now neil on your tummy yeah there you go okay just breathe and relax there now you should have felt that in your knee all the way up here did you yeah okay what i'm doing here is basically decompressing his knee his hip joint all the yeah. way up to the L5S1. Did you feel that one yeah, up there, too? Yeah, I feel. Good. Let's sit you up and face this way towards Joseph, sideways. Yep, sit up sideways. There you go. And just face toward Joseph. Okay. 
Remember to keep your chin up because you have a tendency to let his head drop. When you see his head drop, hit him upside the head. <laughs> Remind him. Keep your head up straight. That's, that's the hardest habit for people to change, but it's the most significant habit that will decrease his spine pain. Let's get your elbow. Good. Wrist, good. Fingers are awful stiff. You work on the computer a lot? No, not that much. What do you do with your hands? Working. <laughs> Good. Now, let's have you stand up here and face the mirror for me again. Face the mirror. Yep. This is a high-velocity, low-amplitude, specific atlas-adjusting instrument that I use to retrain the cerebellum how to hold the biomechanics and posture in place. So, I'm going to have you close your eyes again, Anil. Bend your head forward all the way. Backward all the way. And then back to neutral. Take a deep breath in. Let all your air out. Take a look in the mirror right now. That's a big improvement already. You're not so far down. Do you see the difference? So, we've got him up a little bit, but here's your homework right here, Neil. You're going to lift your shoulders up. You're going to pull them back together now. No, pull them back. Use these muscles. Pull them back. Flare these hands like this. you got to keep your shoulders elevated and back. Don't jut your head forward, though. Keep your head straight back like this. You're a little bit to the right. Now keep your eyes open. Look in the mirror. Okay, now shift your pelvis straight to the right. Nope, like this. Okay, look up at the ceiling. You're going to feel a little tap right there. Another little tap right there. Okay, now relax. Okay, so I'm going to have you do the same thing again, and this should feel smoother. Try it and see. Close your eyes, go forward and backwards, and then back to normal. Did that feel smoother to you that time? Take a look at the difference in his posture already. See how your shoulders are squared off more? Your hands are at your sides now as opposed to being out in front of you like an ape. This is a Neanderthal yeah, look, right. and this is standing up. You should feel squared off yeah. right now. Do you feel taller? Mm -hmm. You feel lighter? Yeah, I like it. Yep. Okay, Anil, would you mind sharing with our YouTube subscribers yeah, how I, this differs from the chiropractic care you've had previously? Yeah, previously it's, you know, better, you know, this one is better for previously. In what way is this better? Yeah, it's a different technique, you know. Yeah, I mean, does this make it different, yeah, better? Yeah, this one, one made right. The most fine difference? Is, yeah. yeah. Did you feel it move yeah. all the way down into the area uh, that was right. hurting? Yeah. Okay, do you have leg pain at all right now? No. Great, good. This is your Houston chiropractor, and Joseph and Renee and, and Anil coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas. And this is what makes us different is the Johnson Biophysics Technique which actually I'll be teaching in St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands in about 10 years, for those of you who want to learn that. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And we'll see much. you next time. Bye. <laughs>